Greetings, YouTubers. I Um, <sighs> doing that again. Uh, yes, it's been a little while since I've been on, but I've got quite a lot to show you. First of all, I was going to show you what I got from um, the Great Short Selweg that we want to went to, where you know they say that you shouldn't meet your heroes, but of course Von Kettering was there, and I did meet him. Cracking bloke, I had a nice chat with him. He also put me in a good. Um, Give me a bit of advice on where to look for 20 to 25 millimeter plastic figures because I'd already looked all around, couldn't find them for love and the money. So he told me straight away where to go. So he obviously scouted it out beforehand and went to get some, which I'm going to show you. And also give you a little update on what I've been painting recently because for the first time in quite some time, I actually cleared just about everything off my off my bench apart from a few little bits and bobs lying around so I shall get on with the show. Okay so first up I managed to find the hat French line chasseurs and these cost me the princely sum of 2 95 so that's how many figures in here? 12. So that's 12 figures of cavalry um, for under three quid. Bargain. Can't argue with that, can you? Bearing in mind I'm trying to build up um, quite a large army and I didn't have any French line chasseurs so I thought why not for three quid. Make a nice change and of course it's 12 mountain figures plus the horses and I'm quite enjoying painting horses now so I was very pleased to get that so that was the first one next up I found the French Lancers again 12 figures 172 395 even so still four quid so a bargain. Uh, and you can't have too many lances as far as I'm concerned. Again, it's another uh, different unit to add to the visual effect. So again, I'll afford to do a nose. And Prussian dragoons. Oh, dragoons, I, I like me dragoons. This lot, two ninety-five. Twenty-four pieces, twelve assembled figures. With all these sets, there's only four poses, which is a bit of a shame. But um, what can you, what can you do really? That's how they come. So, and I got those because I want to build up my Prussian army which I want to work on next. I'm just going to get done what I need to do at the moment and start on Prussians. Also got the 1815 Prussian Uhlans. Another set of Lancers. 36 pieces it says here. Oh yeah, because of all the little bits like extra arms. And 295. I really cannot argue with that. That's why it's 36 pieces. What does that shape remind you of? Bearing in mind these are Prussians. Is it just me? <laughs> So you got a choice of lances and swords. So we got twelve. Well, three guys will have swords. The other nine will have lances. So I quite like those swords. Hopefully these will straighten up. Well, they're going to have to. They're a bit. Yeah. Get 
the light on there. So there you have the four poses. <coughs> Not a lot of variety, but they're Prussian, they're Rulans, they'll add to my Prussian army. Talking Prussian army, I have just putting this one side. For ages and ages and ages I couldn't find any Airfix Prussians. But after a while of going on eBay and bidding, I think I've got about six or seven sets in here. So if there's one thing I'm not short on, it is Prussian Landwehr. So that's more than enough to build up a, a bulk of my Prussian army. And I've got some Prussian line infantry as well. And not only those, Two boxes of these as well of the Prussian Jaeger. So that is going to be my next project building up a Prussian army. Again, I got these off on eBay for about five quid, I think. So two boxes of those for five quid. And then, of course, I'll need some Prussian cavalry, won't they? Not cavalry, Prussian artillery. So that will be what I'll have to look out for next, but I've got a lot to be getting through. So, that is what I'm going to move on to. Uh, let me just give you a brief look over here at what is just about complete. That though, this was the other set that I bought. This was um, before I ran into Fraser. Um, I spotted these. Five quid reduced so you know I bought those Vikings these are the Saxons to go with them so there's 45 figures in here for a fiver bargain so that's another project to do a dark age um, set of each and who knows I might build up more of those so that will be next and I was going to add in some of the old Airfix Robin Hood figures as well because they can double as Saxons, a few of them. So we shall see about that. Okay, let's move on. Excuse the wobbly camera work because I've, I'm now going hands handheld rather than hands free. So, as I was talking to Fraser and he was asking me what I'd bought, and I'd said I'd bought a load more cavalry, I did say at the time to him that what I'm really short of is artillery. So I decided to start producing a grand battery of artillery pieces and I thought, well, rather than me spending extra money on going out and buying more figures, I had a big box, well, a box of about, well, two or three sets of Airfix. Um, French artillery, I know they're not the, the greatest figures in the world, but I'm short of artillery pieces, so I was going to build up my ground battery by using these. I'm not going to use the FX guns because they're naff. I was going to cast my own guns from the Prince August moulds that I've got, so they'll have metal, metal artillery pieces with the plastic FX guys. Um, acting as the crew. So these have just had the first coat of blue paint. After I've primed them I've done the pink for the flesh but I haven't done the wash on the faces yet so I will be probably doing that today. So far I've cast four wheels, three carriages and three guns so I need to do another carriage, another gun and another four wheels to get these ready. Um, it's quite awkward doing this casting because they don't always come out perfect so it's a bit of a waste of time 
in some ways, which is why I've only got the four wheels, because doing the wheels is a pain in the backside, because they've got so many spokes in them. Now there's some come out better than others, so I want to get them as good as I can. And the other problem is that they tend to miss bits there. So what I was going to do was cut off those metal lugs here. So these two bits here, reuse that metal. And what I was going to do was get a, a coffee stirrer, cut it to the right size, drill a hole in the middle and fit it in there. And once it's primed and painted you will not know the difference because this is a bugger to mould properly as well. So that was my cunning plan for that. I mentioned a freezer apart from being short on artillery was I really need to do more infantry. It's all very well and good having loads of cavalry units but you really need the bulk of your army to be infantry so I started another regiment of French line infantry. I don't have to do a complete a lot because I had some spare from the last time I painted the last lot. So I've already got six done already just to add in, which should speed the job up. And that will be my one, two, three, four, fifth um, French line infantry unit. So maybe I could do a couple more. I think I've still got. In fact, I know I've got enough figures for at least another two units. So I should be doing those as well. Would be nice to have maybe ten line infantry units. So I'll now show you what I have been doing recently that I've just about completed. I'm just about finished these, which are the French line artillery. Um, really enjoyed painting these, particularly the horsemen guys, and I tell you what, putting this together was a fiddle, it really was. Horses are still a bit red so I think I might have to put a, a brown wash over those just to get rid of the last bit of redness. My, my ink seems to have gone a bit funny, so I might have to buy some more ink instead, but we'll see what happens with those. It's quite a nice set to do because there's not that many figures in it so you can rattle them off quite quickly. I do have at least one more set of these so I shall be doing those. They also give you some cannonballs put in there. So a very enjoyable set to paint. And as I say they just need finishing off now and that'll be another unit done. Tricky to paint, but in the end, I think we've come out rather nice. Let me just do a side. Yeah, really nice figures. In a different league to the Airfix ones, obviously, but um, what do you expect? So I like those. When I finish them, I'll put them up again. Finished off these French Imperial Guard Airfix figures. Quite pleased how they came out. When they're finally finished off the basing, I think they'll look okay. I've always liked these figures anyway, even though they are fair fix. It's one of the best sets they did. Very colourful. And I've still got loads. I could make probably another three units of these. Um, and because there isn't a command figure, I decided to just grab one of my 
general staff main and I'll just grab him over here. So, this is going to be the command figure for the Imperial Guard. Wasn't it Prince Eugene? Or was he the one who was in charge of Italy? Jerome, wasn't it? Well, he's a commander anyway, because I think they'll look nicer with a command figure. So I may have to do another couple if I do three regiments of... Imperial Guard, which I'd quite like to have. And again, once these are finally properly finished on the bases, I'll put those up. So that's that lot. I also finished painting these guys, whose regimental name escapes me for the moment. I think it might be Nottingham. The Nottinghamshire Regiment. So I have one unit which was the first foot which have the blue facings, these have got the green facings. There's the guy with the blue facings down there. Just need to trim that flag a bit. And down here the guys with the yellow facings, the Gloucesters, the North Gloucesters. Oops. And along the top we have various figures. Okay, so here's one of my completed French line units there. And below another one. So I think once I've completed all these, what I'm trying to do is get each unit to have a specific identity by concentrating on having similar poses in each one but these are nice figures to paint actually once you've trimmed all the silly bits of flash that are on there the molds aren't fantastic but they're, they're very very good but not, not perfect so <coughs> what I was going to do was six companies and a command unit as well to go with them who may just pay us play a sort of decorative part in proceedings they might not be able to fire or take casualties so I thought that might look quite nice because you need four fusilier companies one grenadier and one voltageur unit which means where do you put the command figures so, I thought I'd just add a, another six men to each one of these, which I'm in the process of priming now. So there you go, lots on the go. Good news is, the wife has taken the kids away um, for most of Saturday and most of Sunday, so I'm hoping to get down at the living room and lay out a cloth and get all the figures that I've completed out on there so that's my plan because if she comes in and finds I've been taking over the dining room table she will not be a happy bunny so I have to do it while she's out so that's what's gonna happen and I was gonna leave you with some pictures of what my daughter made me do in her school a couple of weeks ago just after Selwig so take care guys thanks for watching and uh, I hope to post another video soon Bye. There's always a lastly. Um, I did my North 28th North Gloucestershire's quite a while back now, and then I started buying the hat line infantry command sets, so I thought I'd add this lot to those. And then I will be having British line 
regiments looking very similar in some ways in that they'll all have a couple of um, officers a couple of flag bearers because if you're going to do it for one you may as well do it for them all so I did buy about five sets of these in the end because I think they're really good and why not officers are always in short supply in these sets so I will be doing that with them I've already done it with the first foot and also with the is it in the Nottingham ones let me just have a look so yeah I've done that for 